everybody, welcome back to another reaction. It's us three, Lance with Destin and Bree. We are reacting to episode 19 of the case study of Vanitas. Let's just watch it. Let's just watch it. Let's just watch it. I was going to say, we're, we're in the middle of everything right now. I don't want to recap. I lose viewers recapping. I've been imbibing liquids. So, you know, let's just imbibing watch it. liquids. I am never calling it drinking again. <laughs> And by being Lickens, all right? I, mean, I don't think he really had a choice but to fight him. Mustafa sees him and wants to fight him. Yeah. I think I think maybe him telling Noe about it make him go a little easier on him. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, his body's... Oh. Yeah, he injected too much. I mean, heroin's a hell of a drug. Yep. Oh, my God. <coughs> well, good way to deflect. Jesus. Oh, Vanitas with some like actual like wisdom advice, for, like legit yeah. good ones. <laughs> I thought he was gonna like knee his head. I was like, stop beating the boy up. <laughs> Social feelings. Oh. Oh my god. That Jesus. was crazy. Oh. oh. It's just a hand. I mean. Oh. Hey. That that was like an like United States of Smash Punch. Yeah. That really was. Give him a hand. Hey. Oh my god. Yeah. Went to go find him immediately. <sighs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out why her machine can't turn her into a human if it can basically rewrite world realities. Yeah. yeah I don't get that either. I was like, wait, why wouldn't you just do that? That's true. Figures, power, friendship. Yep. And in love. Anime got anime. Luna, uh -oh. the moon. Okay, well, we, yeah, moon. We got a name. Oh, no. He who makes music with snowflakes. Fitting, very fitting. like a dream are we back in the real world i, I don't know anymore because we've gone back in time so many times well we're not in time anymore basically her whole thing was like her whole area was yeah. isolated to snow so the curse has been broken so to speak yeah a shot That's actually really pretty. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, very pretty. Dry cleaning for that suit's going to be horrendous. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you feel it. Yep. Oh, adrenaline wore off. He's fine now, though. <laughs> I found your hands. No, oh, I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> wow. I was gonna say, that was my question, is how do vampires work with losing limbs? Oh. 
so they, these flowers usually born when the world formula has been trampled with. That's interesting. Damn, Mustafa, you just need to take a chill pill, bro. Right? So Someone just hit him upside the head. Damn. Well, he did. He needs some, like, serious psychological help. Oh, Senpai's here. Yo. Damn, he is so much taller than he is. I just noticed right. that. Yeah. I just thought they did that for dramatic effect, and I was like, damn, no, he really is that tall. Oh. He was the one that came and saved him. Holy shit, he is senpai. Dang. Whoa. Oh. Damn, that hurts. Oh. Crazy or not, you can't help but feel bad for him. Well, he's just mentally scarred. Someone give this boy a hug. Oh. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I'm still shocked they both live. <laughs> Poor Jean. <laughs> Poor Jean. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Oh. Uh. Uh-huh. That's her first thought. Well, her after everything was said and calmed down, she's like, "Where's, where's, where's Bonnie?" Does <laughs> no, I was talking about the scene. No, of course, after that scene, that's her first thought. It spread quite a bit. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so is this like his own curse? It's like a curse of his blood. Oh. I guess we could say the ship is sailing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we already thought it was sailing, but it's really sailing now. Yeah. Unless y'all fake her death. Yeah. <laughs> Just say you killed her. Okay. I mean, there were legends of a beast. Just say the beast got to her. She was supposed to be the beast. Oh, was you about to confess, girl? Oh. Oh, no, she needs blood. Yep, I was gonna say the blood. <laughs> what the? Well, we haven't had horny in a while. <laughs> What were we talking about before this episode again? Yeah, it's not that horny. It's just you know. He already had lost a lot of blood. Let's not take too much more from him. Right. I was gonna say he was already covered in his blood a little bit. Oh. Okay. Too bright. Is she taking more blood from him or? Gave him yeah, kind of a kiss. Bright. Okay. I was like, she gave him a kiss on the cheek. Oh. Oh, like me. this red flag. I don't like this red flag. Yeah. They were really. Like, but this feels like a red flag that would happen in like 15, 16 volumes right before the ending. That's what I'm saying. I don't like this red flag. They really said this episode, we're not coloring shit. Here's white. I like the little... Yeah, uh... Her palette on top of the flowers ain't so, uh... Great. Yeah. Those are with yellow eyes. I'm like, alright. Oh, back to the teacher.
Whoever voice acts this, the teacher is fucking amazing. Yeah. Wait, so who's the kid playing in the flowers or the snow? It's weird. I don't know. I think it was one of the, the experiments from what we saw before. Got hit by that what hit, yo. I was going to say, I think this is officially the series being like, yeah, they like each other. <sighs> yeah, but she's also telling him, don't close yourself off to friends either. And that's why Noe showed up. Or romantic entrance still. They're, they're always towing that line. Right. I mean, I'm down for either. God, the voice acting just it's amazing for the teacher. I love it. Yeah. Oh. I see. Give him his name back. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot the fucking cat was there. I wouldn't even have seen that cat had it not been for the bow. Right. Aprix. Okay. The incurable disease. All right. Oh lord. Well. That was episode 19 of Vanitas, pretty much the conclusion of the arc. Um, this arc, though, really, I think, <laughs> propelled this series so fucking much. Like, because, yeah. like, like, we talked about this before. The, the first part of this, the first part of the core, the first core, at least, was all right. But it just was like kind of like, come on, give me a little more teeth to the world, more teeth to what's happening. And this did everything I needed in like then some. Um, yeah. It definitely got me invested enough to want to read the manga and or, and or light novels ex as soon as this is done, which is probably a few more episodes. I'm assuming the next few episodes is going to be just like setting up the next arc on a cliffhanger or something similar. Getting back home, healing, blah, blah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Getting a hand reattached, maybe, hopefully. Be nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> but and shout out to the, everything about this episode is really good. Um, yeah. And granted, like animation quality was was constant and good. It wasn't fantastic. It wasn't like Tensei level, but like the shots, the composition shots. Oh yeah. And this was fucking fantastic with everything. And, and you know, the voice acting, I said that many times in this episode was superb. The music was amazing. This was a great this was an episode how you, this is how you wanted it in an arc. A little bit cliche and, and you know, normal that both of them live, but it's understandable. It happens, of course. It does it can't happen and it does happen. Um, so I can't fault it for that because I like I was 100 percent assuming that Chloe and and Jean Jacques were both going to die, but I'm glad they didn't. Uh, yeah. Or maybe they still could because they still technically they are right. They're supposed to be dead. The beast is supposed to be dead. The church is going to report what they know, and then Jean's going to have to report what she knows to Lord Fucking One Eye, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rufian. Um, but so I'm still wondering how because I'm I'm a, like if I were there I would just like. No, Chloe's dead. We killed her. Right. Call it one, right? Um, I mean, that would be the easiest thing to do and the smartest thing to do. Yeah. I also do love... I do love when series gives us nuances, like like here, like, Astafo, crazy douchebag asshole, but his circumstances really are very important behind him. And I love the little touch of how our, our boy there was the guy who saved his family and like he broke down like that that was low-key very emotional there and, and like that was a good freaking hit there and then it just goes to show you how much the, the one guy that noe and, and bonnie says befriended of the church was probably was probably the best guy to befriend in the church mm -hmm. so <laughs> um, really at least the, the the one that has like an actual moral high ground Midas like oh all vampires yeah. need to die so that's that was good there. I really love the series a lot. I definitely think it, it definitely after this arc and this core it has shot up my seasonal anime charts. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I think this is a show that people should not sleep on. Like the writing yeah. isn't isn't the best, but I mean, it's very generic for the most part, but it's good writing and it's got enough that it just keeps you hooked. And and I, and, yeah. and I have to give it uh, props yeah. to that. And, you know, 
Uh, it's sad we didn't get a, another Pandora Hearts season or anything. We just got a Pandora Hearts right. cafe, uh, which yeah. kind of sucks. But because I kind of, I kind of wish we had more Pandora Hearts. But I'll take this too. I love this story. So, yeah, that's I mean, that's pretty much it for me. But you guys, it's one of those. Excuse me, sorry, my allergies are bad. It's one of those shows, like you said. Like I wouldn't blame anyone if they dropped it season one because it yeah. wasn't very entrancing. But you've said it millions of times since we started this arc. I would definitely tell people to go back and watch. Like, especially because there's yep. so much to catch up on now. It's going to introduce so much more to you. World building, yep. And, 100%. World building is yeah. what really did this this core here. And uh, fun fact, looked up the voice actress. She must be very recent because her film career does not go far back. Oh, and really? I only recognized one anime, and it's a new one. It's She was nuts from Bisco, the leader kid in the town. Oh okay. oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. But I, yeah. I love because like the perfect like <coughs> it was very uh, for for her character, right? The the sensei of mm-hmm. does for her to have that nice soft voice. And this is a weird tangent. I'm gonna go on real fast. But when a teacher in anime, right? When you're a teacher or a mentor, I think your voice needs to be distinct because it it make it yeah. you have to have a voice that makes the audience want to listen. And how how. How soft spoken she was. I felt like Vanitas in that situation. I felt like I need to hang on to every word she's saying because it's important mm-hmm. and it's hard to hear a little bit. So I have to really pay attention. I love that effect when it comes to, to anime and to voice acting in general. And that was brilliantly well done. So g- kudos to her. Kudos to the mixing oh, yeah. team to make it as low and as like as soft. Um, it just it gives more shriek to her character. And I can't wait to see like a full blown design of her because if cosplayers ever want to do that, that was a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that it was, was like, a she, lot. She's got, she's got that hair. She's got, got that, that hair. hair so have fun the with that staff, weird. the robe. She's like Merlin from Fate. Freaking go! Like all that crap going on. You yeah. have to do a lot. Yeah. No, I, I, I love voices like that too because it's soft, yeah. like you said. But she, it almost demands a presence, but not even demands. Like there is a presence you know you have to listen to. Like, yeah, like I said, like that's like perfect. have to hang on every word, just like Bonnie does, or a, a child or a student listening to their teacher or their sensei or the mentor. You need to listen. You have to pay attention to what they're saying because it's kind of hard to hear, but also it feels like there's real weight to the words, her words there. So yeah, I, I love that. Um, but yeah, let us know what y'all thought down below. Um, and you know, what did you love about this arc? If you have you been reading this? Uh, what, what would you rank this arc if you've been reading this in, in terms? Would it be one of the higher end arcs? Because it felt, certainly felt like it, but we've only had two big arcs to really go through. So, uh, yeah, you can let us know down below there and uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, all the fun YouTube crap. Follow me on Twitter if you only follow me on Twitter. And we will talk to y'all another time for another reaction sometime soon. Peace.